Apriamo questo giornale con una notizia che ha dell'incredibile. Herbert Kappler... A German woman in her 50s, Anna Lies Wenger. An SS soldier sentenced to jail and devoured by cancer, Herbert Kappler. And just one wish to return together to Germany. But for Lieutenant Colonel Kappler, the man who drew up the list of 335 names of those condemned to death to avenge the Germans killed in Via Rasella, the man who on March 24th, 1944, at the Ardiatina Caves, shot the prisoners in the back of the neck. The man who spent 28 years in the prison fortress of Gaeta in the company of Walter Reda, the butcher of Mazzaboto, there is no possibility of pardon. Now only one option remains, escape. That moment has arrived, August the 15th, 1977. Behind the door of the military hospital of Celio in Rome, where Kapler was being treated, the room is empty. Anna Lies has spirited him away in the night with the help of her son. Here are the two protagonists of that sensational day, 32 years later. Today, Anna Lies finds it difficult to speak but her son has given us an exclusive interview. Ich bin der Sohn von Anneliese Kappler. Ich heiße Eckehard Walter und habe mich schon in sehr jungen Jahren, ich glaube, ich war 16, mit der Geschichte von meinem späteren Stiefvater Herbert Kappler beschäftigt und es hat mich sehr bewegt. Auch mein leiblicher Vater war Soldat, mein Großvater war es und ich hatte mich mit dem, was Soldaten tun mussten, ob es ihnen gefiel oder nicht, immer viel zu beschäftigen. Und so habe ich mich natürlich auch mit der Geschichte von Herbert Kappler sehr beschäftigt und das hat mich sehr berührt. In the following days, newspapers around the world were full of the news. Did someone allow the incredible escape to happen? Who organized it? Diese Aktion habe ich weitgehend selbst eigentlich initiiert, 20 Monate vorher, eine Freisetzung meines Stiefvaters beschlossen war von einem Gericht in Italien. Dann wurden Proteste arrangiert, würde ich mal sagen, dagegen. Er kam nicht frei. Er war darüber sehr verzweifelt, konnte das nicht begreifen und haben meiner Mutter wieder gesagt, wenn wir nicht selber handeln, dann kommt er nie raus. The government of the Federal Republic of Germany had repeatedly called for his release, but in vain. Now the German press betrayed a veiled satisfaction with the outcome. But in the chaos of those days, it was an Italian journalist who pointed out a disturbing fact. In Italy, none of Kapler's many superiors had been given a similar sentence to his. Why were none of them made to pay? Now we know. Italian justice had been forced to stop in front of a locked cabinet, its doors facing the wall, hidden in the basement of the chief military prosecutor's office in Via delle Acqua Sparta in Rome. The cabinet of shame. For over 50 years, 695 files were buried here, files containing the locations, dates and names of many of those responsible for atrocities committed in Italy during the Second World War. Apart from Reda, none of them kept Kapler company during his long years in Gaeta. The Cold War, reasons of state, secret international agreements, interventions from the Vatican and orders that came from who knows where dug an impassable trench between the need to punish the guilty and the course of justice. Everything was buried, except the singular Kapler case. Prisoner of War on the Run.